we we were having this amazing conversation um, in my office two weeks ago, a week or so ago, because we were talking about um, we were talking about the N word, right? The classic debate, right? And what started the discussion? A book by chance? No, it wasn't actually. We weren't talking. No, it wasn't. To kill a mockingbird? Right? No, it wasn't. It was. Um, oh, it was. It was something that happened on Twitter. Um, Torre, the African American culture guy who's on um, MSNBC, who just wrote the new book, um, um, who's afraid of post uh, post blackness. Mm. And he was talking about how he made a comment on on Twitter that white people cannot use the N word ever, period, ever. And he was deliberate. There's never a time unless they're using it academically. And interestingly, I lean towards agreeing with him. But I feel that's a generational thing. Because the conversation we were having was we look at the way that that word gets used in hip hop today. And hip hop has, in many respects, or probably all respects, been truly cross cultural, right? Hip hop is no longer solely black music. That is listened to by everybody. And there's this interesting thing happening with a desensitivity or desensitizing the word with younger kids because Jay Z is using it, Lil Wayne is using it, and, you know, and all the rest of it. And so you hear the word, you know, being used by white and black friends. You know, the my N mm-hmm. is used across racial boundaries, sure. which to me, I'm like, bah! you know, like, that is, <laughs> bah, the, you know, that is the taboo of all taboos, right? right? And we have this really interesting conversation. I once had a student tell me that there was a difference between if you say it ER or you say it A. As long as I'm just saying it with an A at the end of it, it's fine. Oh, you know? that's interesting. And I'm like, you are drawing a bright line distinction that I like. <laughs> but we were having this whole interesting conversation about is this generation, is it okay that this generation seems to be getting desensitized to it? Or is this still one of these power words that you should never be desensitized to? And one of my teachers, uh, Matt Kay, brilliant young teacher, um, he's been with me seven years, he's 29 now, I should stop calling me young teacher, he's 29. Um, <laughs> he was 22 when I got it. <laughs> yeah. um, amazing African-American um, English teacher, basketball coach, poetry coach, athletic director, brilliant drama teacher, amazing guy. And he says, I go by the punch in the face rule with it. If using it in any circumstance would get you punched in the face, don't use it. And then he says, and the other thing about that word is if at any point in time someone takes offense in you using it, the user is always at fault. He was like, if someone says, oh, I don't like the way you use it, oh, my bad. And it's just, it's the immediate my bad, right? And it was funny because he was talking about the fact that, you know, he said, because he and I, you know, he said, you know, and he said, for example, Chris, he's like, I know you don't like the word. So I, you know, he said, look, if I'm home with my buddies, you know, I will, we throw around the word. And in our house, that was, you grew up with it. And like his mother's this super prim and proper, like older 40 year vet. She just retired. She was a you know 40 year veteran teacher. She's one of these like amazing like old school teachers, like super prim and proper. Like she and my mother get along great when when they mm-hmm. both end up at school functions because they're the same sort of generation right. of that older teacher that you know. And he he was like, oh yeah, growing up, my mother used that word all the time. And I was like, I, <laughs> I was like, you are mother. Um, but he's like, Chris, I know it would make you uncomfortable if I used it or in your presence in a non-academic. And so the, it is incumbent on me, if I want to use that word, to know it, to know that and to know where I can and can't. Even as a black man, I can't claim that it's okay for me to say it sure. around company that would be uncomfortable. And that was really interesting. But he, said, but he said, we were talking about the fact that this younger generation is redrawing all of these rules. And they're figuring it out as they go along. And things that we would have never assumed ease with they they have many of them not all many of them have ease right and i would love i mean we have to maybe talk again about the n-word in literature because i have a passion about how our kids are being taught using specific literature like roll a thunder hear my cry to kill a mockingbird where the n-word is just riddled throughout 
right. which is what it was for the author to use the language back then, but it just isn't balanced. We're not right. getting the balance so that everybody know, everybody is aware. Our students know that it's not just the N-word, but there are other words that sting right. students. Right. And it seems like the N-word has just taken over to the point where, you know, it's almost gerrymandering no matter where you are <laughs> in the country. Right. Well, think, although it, what's fascinating is, is that I love the backlash and I love students beginning to make themselves aware of why phrases like that's so gay or no homo or right. that kind of stuff is equally hurtful, painful, wrong. Although, even to call myself out on that moment, I'm okay saying those words even in academics where I'm still not okay. Like the word, the N-word does not sound right in my mouth. So there still is... Sure. You know, and that is the one word that, you know, like even in an academic moment, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't say, you know, like, whereas, but I do see, so I think it does have a sort of, but I also, you know, but to problematize that, so, because now we're in this weird academic discussion, which is cool. <laughs> I would posit that, would I say this? It is arguable. I'm not sure I, but I think it is, I don't. I think I believe this. I would argue probably that black-white relations in this country have been the most challenged, the most difficult, the most charged, and rooted in slavery, but rooted in, in so many other things, obviously, that that word as representative of that struggle probably does hold more power, hate, charge, than even many of the other derogatory words out there that we are trying to teach kids why they're not good words to use. If we're and doing we, that. What's if, that? If we're doing that. I think we're, we are focused around the N-word, but the other derogatory words do not show up. Well, if they do show up in literature, it's not being brought into the schools. Right. But the N-word well, is whereas, front and center. Yeah, yeah. And again, I'm this weirdo, funky little school where we do bring those words in, where we so do talk good. about those things. Uh, our GSA just uh, did this wonderful papering of the school with all, they hung up all these posters um, with things that saying like, um, when are you going to tell your parents you're straight? Um, I don't care <laughs> if you're straight as long as you don't, as long as you don't put throw it in my face. Like all these wonderful, I love wonderful that. like playing with language and really trying to point out yes. the love way. This. So, so it we, levels the playing field. Right, that's right. And, and gets kids thinking and talking, which is what right. we want. And I think, and I would have to say this while we wrap up, that if Zimmerman had been at your school, I don't think he would come out with a, with a gun to kill this kid. I, I oh, don't think he I, would. Because I, I know I he would learn about the diversity and the cultures that are with us and should be uh, treated as... as as such, as this beautiful collage that we are. That's right. So keep doing what you're doing, Chris, because it's great work, and yeah. I'm giving you a thumbs up and a peace sign and a deuces. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So I look really silly when I do my peace sign. <laughs> anyway. So thank, thank you so much. It's oh. wonderful to see you and talk to you. Oh, anytime, and I definitely I have to get that trip down to your school. Please do. We're always there.